Emily's boyfriend, Jake, and sister Charlotte join us now. And I'm just desperately sorry that you're here talking to us under these tragic circumstances. And this nightmare began, like we say, on the 12th of July, Jake, and you knew there was something wrong because you kept trying to call. Yeah. And there were no answers, and that just wasn't like her. No, not at all. I mean, she's always on her phone with, you know, her work on social media. Mm -hmm. um, and she was on her way to the fertility clinic because she was freezing her eggs, um, which she also made very well known. The appointment was at 9am, and we didn't hear from her till, you know, I didn't hear anything after, like, 9, 10 o'clock, and I was like, that's odd. Um, so I spoke to Emily's sisters, they hadn't heard, she wasn't at work. Um, so I thought she just hopefully has fallen asleep in the flat. She slept with her airplay mode on. Mm -hmm. So I thought, this is, this is all it is. And as I was riding my motorbike back to our flat, I found the accident. I so see. that's unfortunately how we found out. You came across the, the, the torment that then yeah. ensued. Um, you were, of course, were on a flight, actually, Charlotte. So you on, on the way to New York and yeah, you heard then. Was, uh, so that was oblivious. a <laughs> complete and utter nightmare, trying to get back yeah. home and yeah. just an awful day. Um, it would appear that Emily, certainly police are saying that um, she may be the first person that has died being involved in one, an accident with yeah. one of these scooters. But that is not the statistic that you want no. her to be remembered by. It's the work that she was trying mm -hmm. to do, particularly with mental health. And she was, like you say, so open yeah. on her yeah. YouTube yeah. channel, actually about everything in mm. her life. Yeah. But uh, her mental um, struggle, and she did have a breakdown, and she was very honest about that. You're wanting to try and continue that message and to keep the conversation talking. Yeah, 100%. It was all about talking. That was her, her crucial element. Yeah. Well, Emily just had a, a gift at uh, being able to normalise a very tab taboo t uh, subject. Mm -hmm. And how are the family holding up, Charlotte? Are you in any way processing what's happened at this point? I know it's still so raw. Yeah, it's obviously it's still very raw. <laughs> really early days. We haven't had the funeral yet. Um, I think it's difficult. Obviously, grief's quite a personal journey, so we're a very, we are a very strong family, and you know we're trying to stick together with Jake. Um, so we're okay um, in the circumstances. Yeah. Um, trying to sort of take the good in a really, really horrible situation, and you know life has thrown us a pretty rubbish curveball mm -hmm. we weren't expecting. So you know that's why we're here. We're, we're sort of trying to follow the path and trust that the universe has a bit of a plan in mm -hmm. a way. Yeah. Um, and just trying to, you know, we've, we've just been so overwhelmed with the number of people that have reached out, and there is some comfort in that. Yeah. Um, obviously, we always knew how amazing she was, um, but I don't think she even realised how many people she was helping. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, we're so proud of her, all mm -hmm. of us yeah. now. Um, it's just obviously, yeah, early days. We're all kind of still in shock, slowly processing it. But, no, you know, course. we're a strong family. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a bit of an Emily-shaped hole now. Of course, no, I yeah. understand that. And, and you've, there's four sisters, yeah, obviously, yeah. and you're all very, very close. You actually got a tattoo, didn't you? I did, you? yeah. Like, and just, you, just... Yeah, just after, because four, there's four sisters, and Emily was always... Four was her lucky number. If we ever went to a casino, she'd always put all her money on four. Dad, <laughs> all, the, all of Dad's money on yeah. four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we, we're, we were really close. Like, all of our happiest times was just hanging out as sisters, so... Yeah, it's going to be tough, but yeah. um, that's, you know, we're going to try and... Emily's legacy will live on. Yeah, well, well, she she used YouTube and, and all of these platforms mm. to such a great extent. It was it was her life, and this is now what you can do, I mm. guess, is, and it is a way of getting your voices heard yes, off exactly. the back of that. Yeah. I suppose it's the best way to do it. Are you doing OK as well, Jake? It's not, I mean, you just moved in together, hadn't you? It was so weird, because I was actually meant to move in the night, the day she passed away, um, but for one reason or another, which I'm very grateful for, we decided to move in the Monday before, so I had four nights living with Emily, um, which I'll cherish forever. Um, so, yeah, we'd... Uh, I, I'm OK, obviously, as Charlotte said, it's very early days. Mm -hmm. You have good days, you have bad days, but... Um, just trying to figure out, figure it all out and navigate as best as, uh, as I can. Yeah. So. And what, what is the hope now? Um, what would you like to create, exactly? I think, um, obviously, yeah, it's early days, so it's kind of a work in progress, but, and, and I would have been too um, emotional and it's too raw for me to really think about it yet, but one of her friends stepped up straight away and she was like, right, we're going to continue this. And they still, on the day that they found out that Emily had died, they still had her second mental health meetup that she had organised and they said it was really beautiful, they did it in the park. Um, so we're kind of going to go through the process of setting up the charity um, 
at the moment, it's, as I said, a work in progress. We haven't quite decided on the name, but Emily was very much about just, it's very simple, it's not rocket yeah. science. It's just, you know, mental health meetups, talk it, talk about it and yeah. reduce the stigma, yeah. work with mental health professionals to kind of like maybe go into schools, talk to young people to get them talking from a very early age. Yeah. It's just really just to carry on Emily's message yeah. of talking. And how proud she would be. Yeah, and she, that's, that's, yeah, she, she would be laughing so much thinking that I'm here talking about yeah. this. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, and uh, yeah, she would want us to, and it gives us a really positive focus out of something really horrible. Yeah. No, no, of course. Well, look, our hearts go out to all of you. I know it's a, a terrible time for all of you. So um, yes, best of luck with it. And like Thank we you. say, it is. It's just plowing those energies into yeah, something exactly. that you know she would yeah. love.